Hello, I'm Alex and this is the T3 Gadget TV show. Coming up, we've got some lovely gadgets for you. First up, it's a new pocket-friendly clamshell Blackberry Pearl. Over to you, Ree. Rim have found a new pearl in their Blackberry shell, and it's this, which is the Pearl 8220 smartphone. As you can tell, they're taking a bit of a diversion in terms of their design, and this is the first flip that Rim have brought to market. First look with the design is pretty nifty. They're using the shore type that you get on the 8130, so you get the two letters instead of the full, full QWERTY that you get on a curve. Another good thing about the new flip is that you get an extra screen on it. But what this one adds to it is that it makes, allows you to preview messages. In terms of functionality, BlackBerry are really shouting about their multimedia at the moment. There's multimedia on it and it's much improved from the likes of the 8130. So you're going to get video on there, you're going to get camera on there. And the size of the screen and also the quality of the screen is perfect for watching videos. Even though they doubled the memory from the previous pills, which was at 64 megabytes, 128, it's still not quite enough. But luckily enough, they give you a one gigabyte micro SD card in the box. And this has actually also got inbuilt Wi-Fi, unlike the BlackBerry Storm, which lacks that. And it's a lucky thing that this phone does have Wi-Fi because it's not actually 3G. Another thing that this phone lacks is it doesn't have GPS. But we can forgive this phone for all the things that it lacks. We actually do like it. So technically not the best, but the design's a winner. Next up to the Nintendo DSi, which has been flying off the shelves in Japan, but what do we think of it? Here's Rhi with her verdict. Yes, it is the new Nintendo DSi, the upgraded from this old one, which is the Nintendo DS. It's more of a refresh rather than a revamp. So first look, they look pretty similar, but the new thing the DSi is 2.6 millimeters thinner, and also flip it open, and the screen here is actually 3.25 inches in size, so adding 0.25 of an inch to its bigger brother. But apart from aesthetics, the main feature that's been added to the DSi is the addition of two brand new cameras, one on the outside and the other on the inside. Another function that Nintendo have added to the DSi to make it more than just a run-of-the-mill games console is the addition of a DSi music function. The Nintendo DSi is a delicious slice of Japanese tech. If you do already own a Nintendo DS, there's not much point going out and buying this one for an extra 100 quid. Well, that's another one for the handheld gaming diehard, but as ordinary folks, we'll make do with our Nintendo DS. That's it for this week. Catch you next time.